Hi, I'm Beth Pegler. I'm a jewellery designer and maker, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a macrame bracelet. I'm going to show you how to make a bracelet using the Josephine knot. You can make it with just one colour rope or two colours like we're going to do today or four colours if you like and as you can see it really makes an impact. Josephine knot is a decorative knot that's used in macrame. I've seen it used in wall hangings and plant hangers. This is what we're going to be making today. It's a really bold design. It's quite simple, but looks really intricate. So today we're going to be using two different coloured ropes. Chunky rope, it's nine millimetres thick. I've brought mine from a company called Bobbany, but you can find lots of different types of rope online. We're also going to be using a tape measure to measure our pieces and the tape to bind the ends of the rope to stop it from fraying embroidery thread that we're going to use to bind the ends together, a needle to sew in the ends of the thread, my bigger dressmaking scissors, my smaller embroidery scissors and my hot glue gun, but you can use any strong glue. To start with, we're going to cut our rope. I've chosen two colours, red and pink. I think red and pink look really good together. So we're going to cut four pieces and they're all going to be 50 centimetres long. I've got some tape here that I've cut. I just bind the rope with the tape before I cut it, otherwise this rope can fray and we don't want that to happen. So we've got one, two in red. And then we're gonna cut two in pink as well. So there we've got our four pieces of rope, two pink, two red, and they're all 50 centimetres long. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our red rope and we're just going to make a loop. This end is going to go underneath this piece here. So we've just made a loop with this going underneath this piece. Then we're going to take our pink pieces and we're just going to place it on top and then we're going to go under the bottom, over the top and then I'm going to put it underneath this part of the loop, over the top of the pink and then back underneath the red. What we need to do now is we need to just tighten it up. So we need to just pull all four of the ends. Don't want to pull them too tightly, just so that they all sit snugly next to each other. And that is your Josephine knot. So we want to make our Josephine knot into a bracelet. So I'm going to put it on my wrist so I can work out how big I need it to be. This rope is slightly stretchy, so I know I'll be able to slide it on over my hand. So when you've worked out how big you want your bracelet, you can mark it with the tape and wrap the tape around all four of the pieces of rope. Wrap the tape nice and tight, and then we're going to cut that end off with the scissors. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Wrap your tape around all four nice and tightly and then cut it with your scissors and just check that that's the right size for your wrist. You want it to fit quite snugly. You don't want it to be too loose and you don't want it to be too tight because you won't be able to get it on and too loose you might lose your bracelet. Two more bits of tape just to get these ends. So I've cut my ends where they're going to meet because we're going to glue these two ends together. And then I'm just going to put a large bit of glue on one end. Then I'm going to press the other end against that end and just hold it for about a minute just so it gives the glue the chance to set. Like get your fingers a little bit stuck. <laughs> and there you have your bracelet. It's not very sightly with the tape. So what we're going to do, we are going to get some embroidery thread, which you can just get online, or it's the sort of thing people might have in their homes for other projects. And we're going to use that embroidery thread to cover up the tape. 
I'm going to trim the tape a little bit because there's quite a lot of it. And trim it so there's a bit less. I'm just using my small embroidery scissors. I'm just making it so there's not quite so much tape so we don't need to cover as much tape up. Sometimes the glue might make a bit of a lump. So I'll just trim a little bit. It's hard now so you can just trim it with your scissors. Now we're ready to cover the tape up with our embroidery th thread. So we get one end and I'm going to hold it down with my thumb and then with my other hand I'm going to just start to wind the embroidery thread over the tape. You can, if you like, use um, a clasp. Instead of gluing and binding you can buy magnetic clasps which are good and you just need one that's probably about eight millimetres diameter. If you've got some gaps, you can always use your thumbnail just to try and cover them with the tape. I'm going to get my needle and I'm just going to push it down underneath and bring it back out underneath the embroidery thread and then bring it back out. And then I'm going to thread my needle and then I'm going to pull that through and then I'm going to trim off the ends of thread. So I can see it's still showing a little bit of tape, so I'm going to wind a bit more embroidery thread over the top. You can use any colour thread you like. I've just chosen red because we've got some red rope. But I think it looks nice when you have a totally different colour as well. I'm just going to sew that end in again, pushing my needle so the end is secure. One of the hardest parts of this is threading a needle. And then we're going to pull the needle through. Trim off the excess embroidery thread. And there you have your Josephine knot bracelet. You can just slide it over your hand. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel. And if you'd like to find out more about me and my process, check out my online course at Domestica. You'll find a link in the description below.